It can be hard to know what to prioritize when furnishing a small bedroom. Tricky angles, limited floor space, and low ceilings can make designing these spaces a massive challenge. But with a bit of creative thinking and strategic planning, it is amazing what you can make out of such a small space. In this video, I'll go through my top 10 tips for designing a small bedroom based on my experience having worked on them myself. Space is a premium in small bedrooms, so it is important to prioritize the essentials. Truth is, we don't really need that much furniture in the bedroom, and overcrowding will only make it feel smaller. In my opinion, all that's really needed is a comfortable bed and somewhere to store your clothes like a dresser or wardrobe. Everything else is really just a nice bonus. By prioritizing the essentials, we can make sure that even the smallest bedroom will fulfill its intended purpose without overcrowding it with unnecessary furniture and items. As the bed is the largest piece of furniture in a bedroom, you need to make sure that it is the right size and is also as simple as possible to maintain a sense of spaciousness in a room. Bed sizes vary depending on location, but they're generally around six sizes, which vary slightly depending on region. To determine the best fit for your room, Calculate the room's area and then choose a bed that allows for at least 70 to 90 centimeters of walking space around it. In a smaller space, you can go for 45 to 60 centimeters to allow for comfortable walking space around the room. You'd also typically go for a smaller bed in a small bedroom, like a queen instead of a king. But you also have to consider your specific needs, such as sleeping alone, with a partner, or alongside a pet. There's a lot of advice out there saying that you should only put an ensemble bed in a small bedroom. And while I think that it works in theory as they are smaller, they all have boring boxy silhouettes that go all the way to the floor, which can feel quite heavy. Tall ensemble beds are even worse as they completely dominate rooms. Instead, get a simple bed frame with legs, specifically one that is quite low but is still raised off the ground. This will give your bedroom a nice and airy feel, and as a bonus, you can use the space underneath the bed for extra storage. If you still prefer the upholstered bed frame that goes all the way to the ground for a more designer look, that's okay too, but you do want to keep it looking clean. Also simplify how you dress your bed. Go for minimal bedding and paired back throw pillows. Lighter weight materials such as linen work as they don't overwhelm the space. This doesn't mean only sticking to light neutrals. You can go for bolder and darker hues which I'll cover in later parts of this video. I've also linked some of my favorite brands that make quality bedding down in the description box below. Nightstands are often quite large and many don't work well in small bedrooms. Don't be restricted in thinking that you have to place two nightstands on either side of your bed. Going for an asymmetrical look instead can open up your space and make it feel larger. For example, on one side you could have a nightstand and on the other you could have a small side table or stool. You could even do an arrangement with one nightstand only. You can also move furniture that serves another purpose into the spot where a nightstand would usually be. For example, using a small dresser or slimline desk as a nightstand is a popular option for small bedrooms. When choosing bedside tables, I generally suggest going for a smaller, legged piece to bring an open feeling to the room. You always want your bedside table to be visually light which is especially important in a small room. Another idea is to mount a wall shelf on each side of your bed to double as a nightstand. This will give you a completely open and airy look while having a surface to place items. You can get something like the IKEA Eket as a budget-friendly option, or perhaps something like this from Carpenter if you're looking for a more elevated option. It may seem counterintuitive to the previous tips, but you can also make your small bedroom feel more spacious and organized by going for a singular large furniture piece. A singular multi-purpose piece looks much tidier than a cluster of smaller pieces. As an example, you may opt for a heavier bed frame with pull-out storage underneath if you're in desperate need for extra storage. Or if your room is exceptionally small, a guest lift bed frame may be an even better option. The idea here is to replace multiple smaller furniture into a single multifunctional piece. This will help streamline the room and make it look less visually cluttered. Also like how I touched on before, if you need a workspace in your bedroom, a visually lightweight desk can double as a nightstand and work spot. You don't really have an opportunity to incorporate visually appealing elements on the floor of a small bedroom. Instead, you can use the wall space to create visual interest. I'll suggest creating a focal point above your bed or on an empty wall with a piece of art. In that way, you can establish the room's ambience 
and also express your personal style. It can also be used as a reference point to arrange other furniture and decor items around it. Alternatively, you can also use a striking headboard or perhaps a fancy wall sconces by the bed. Whatever you do, stick to having one focal point as the loud moment in the room and have everything else support this point. Not everyone needs extra storage, but if you do, expand vertically rather than horizontally. Get floor to ceiling wardrobes or closets to make use of all the available space. If you have the budget for it, get your wardrobes built into your bedroom or as a more budget-friendly option, look into the IKEA PAX line. There are many different door and panel options as well as hacks out there that can make these units look really nice. Built-in storage around your bed also maximizes space. While it is costly, it will allow you to make the most out of your limited square footage. You can be quite creative with vertical storage space. Consider overdoor hangers for bags or clothes or a clothes rack suspended from the wall or ceiling. You could even put one above your dresser to really make the most out of every square inch. A small space tips isn't complete without suggesting mirrors as a space saving hack. Mirrors are crucial for small spaces as they reflect light, making the space feel bigger and more open. I also always find that it is nice to have a mirror in a space where you're getting dressed. For an even bigger impact, place your mirror opposite a window so it reflects even more light into the space. Mood lighting is extremely important in bedrooms, and like all rooms, layering different types of lighting will elevate the room and make it feel more interesting. While ceiling or spotlights are great to have when getting dressed in the morning, it is often too harsh to use when you're winding down at night to go to bed. Instead, add floor or table lamps with warm light bulbs to your room for ambient lighting in the evening. If you don't have room for them, you can look into wall sconces instead. They're always a great way to dress up a bedroom without taking up valuable space. Alternatively, strip lighting behind the bed could be a good option in a more contemporary bedroom. Keep clutter to a minimum in small bedrooms, especially on your bedside tables. Go for drawers if you have lots of things to hide or look into stackable boxes that you can group together to hide all your bits and pieces. The same goes for the rest of the space. Fold your clothes and hide them away inside a storage box or wardrobe. Keep things on top of your desk or dresser to a minimum and hide all these little things away inside your drawers. End of bed storage like storage benches are perfect for hiding clutter. While painting a space white is one of the most common tips to create the illusion of a larger space, not everyone enjoys a light and airy bedroom, and that is perfectly fine. Soothing colors in muted tones like blues and sage green, warm earthy shades, and dark colors like forest green and navy can work well in a small space. Darker hues can actually work in smaller spaces if they are well executed. It works by absorbing light and softening the room's hard edges. This results in softer and less confining ambience in the room that has a cocooning effect, which can help with the restful night's sleep. Whatever you do, avoid bright or vivid shades like sun yellow and hot pink, as they'll overstimulate your eyes and overpower the space, making it difficult to sleep. If you prefer a light and serene feel, go for an off-white and be sure to add plenty of texture. Texture is key to an elevated space, otherwise the room will feel flat. Think linens light-colored rugs, or earthy textured throw pillows. And that is all for this week's video on small bedroom design tips. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.